In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace those cracked round bars and make them brand new again. So I've been using this Yakima Showboat car top kayak loading system for four years and in general I'm pretty happy with it. It makes the kayak loading a lot easier, especially when I have this heavier kayak. I cannot just lift it above my head. And with this system, uh, I can just load it one side first and slide the other side up. And also make the kayak rack specifically to fit my kayak. And also this hoist to load on top of my car. So I can put it up and take it down very easily. I have a couple of videos that show you how to do all this. So if you are interested, please check them out. And to unload, just do the reverse operation. Very easy. The spec says it can load up to an 80 pound boat. And my kayak is about 65. I wouldn't go over 75 pounds just to be safe. So after years of use, I started to see problems with those rum bars. And apparently this is a common problem. A lot of people are seeing the same issue. So basically the vinyl wrap on those rum bars start to crack. I searched the internet and see how people are fixing this issue. Some people use the heat shrink wrap, some use the duct tape. Then I came across this post that someone actually got them replaced through the warranty. But I think that might have been for another Yakima product. So I emailed Yakima and addressed my issue. It did take them a while to get back to me. So yes, they told me it is under their lifetime warranty. All they need is some basic information and the pictures of damaged parts. Then they asked me to do a field destroy on those damaged bars and send the pictures for proof. Basically, the field destroy is just uh, spray paint those parts so they cannot be reused or reclaimed for the warranty. As you can see, I started to remove the rum bars. First, I removed the end cap that holds the rum bar and then I slide those rum bars out without detaching the, the end piece, the roller part because I was afraid that I might lose the distance between the bars but it's not the case because the distance between the bars is not fixed so here's the field destroy process basically they want you to spray paint some bright colors on the wrong bars and then send the picture in so after four days this arrived at our front door a brand new set of rum bars and they even come with uh, end caps so let's open it all right okay take this out So I just need to insert this back in to this end. That's there good. I'll tighten it up. Okay, this should be good. Okay. And now I look at this, this is kind of dumb because I can just install them one by one and then put the roller part together in the end because the distance is adjustable. I think maybe that's why they designed this way so it's easier to install. There we go. Put those there as a stopper. This thing. Okay, just need to put 
push on it a bit. There we go. Okay. I'll be using those old end caps and uh, this stopper thing. So let's get to it. I'm using this as a the stopper so I won't pull the bars all the way out. And I, I think it came with this, um, but only one side. Originally, I planned to mount some headlights over here, but I didn't do it. But this will serve as a stopper, just in case I pull this too far out. Okay. Put the end cap on. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, there we go. Yep, so the replacement installation is done. For this stopper, I just pull the rack all the way out until this first stopper catches the this assembly. Once I know where to stop, I move this to touch this assembly and lock it down. So that way I have two protections and I know I won't pull it out too much. Let's look at this again. This is the old set. You can see it's cracked here and there. Here's the new set replacement. Good as new. So if your Yakima system is in the same situation, I strongly recommend giving the Yakima support a call or send an email. You should be able to get your system replaced for free. Alright, that's a wrap. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!